Hi, a couple of people have messaged me and um, asked me questions and it's easier for me just to make a vlog to answer these instead of writing to them. Oh, okay, it's laziness, but here, here it is. Um, can you please tell me what, what were your withdrawals like? I have numb feelings in my hands and arms and eyes are aching, shakes, sweats, paranoia, bad dreams, all my nerves are on edge, uh, could not stay, stay still, hearing things feeling really weak, very anxious, panic attacks. Okay, when I gave up drinking, uh, I was pretty much in the same boat. I didn't have the numb feeling or anything like that, but I did have um, panic attacks, really bad panic attacks. And I was on uh, this drug called Prothide, and it was an antidepressant, and it was a very, very low dose. Uh, the doctors said to me, I don't know what you're taking this for, it's not going to do anything to help depression. Well, I didn't feel like I was depressed, I just was uh, very edgy. And this took the, just taking a very, very mild dose of this took the edge off that and stopped me from, you know, because I was, um, when I was drinking, uh, at my worst, I was agoraphobic, I was claustrophobic. Uh, I couldn't go outside. I couldn't uh, couldn't stand small spaces. I couldn't stand being around people. I was absolutely positive. If I stood on the train station, somebody would push me off. I just had all was so paranoid, uh, you know. And I tell people this that when I uh, stopped drinking, it was really bad for me. It was really bad. I will be the first one to admit it. Uh, going to a shopping centre was like terrifying to me. I had the most. Um, the strangest thoughts and I remember my doctor saying to me oh what sort of thoughts and I thought there's not no shit show in hell I'm gonna tell you what sort of thoughts I were having they were crazy thoughts and I think it just comes with the with the with with the withdrawals I don't know maybe it was just I don't know but then um, so I was taking this and like I said it was a very small dose and it seemed to take the edge off the way I felt and it helped me get back to um, normalcy, whatever the fuck that is anyway. You know, what's normal these days? But I had very bad panic attacks. Um, wrong one, let's see, I've got another letter here. If I can just find that. Mm. This young guy is asking me about um, health problems and what to take and uh, colloidal silver and well I take colloidal silver I, I, I the, what I would say to anybody is um, try it for yourself and if it works good you know I um, take it and it works for me and I love it I I don't get sick this last week I was with somebody and they were uh, very sick they had the flu or something and I spent a lot of time with them because they were going through some personal problems and I never got sick so I don't get sick I can't even tell you the last time I had a cold or a flu or you know and people around me all the time they get the colds and flus and diarrhea and all the rest okay I got food poisoning a few weeks ago but a few doses of colloidal silver soon fix that up but apart from that I don't get sick so so that's about it I think hang on there was one more here I was going to say something on um, 32 year old kid and hit rock bottom been sober for 12 hours it may not sound like a lot uh, yes I remember this one uh, I don't remember not drinking and that really is really scary he says here 12 hours it may not seem like a long time trust me to me 12 hours was like 12 years 12 hours is absolutely fantastic good on you absolutely good on you I, I must write to you now actually and just make sure that you're still going okay and take you right there take one hour at a time that's absolutely what you do you just take one hour at a time and oh there's something else I have to say I'm going to put a link to the side there's one of my um, per, a person here that I subscribe to she's subscribed to me as well and her name's Sebastian and she's oh I hope I've said that right Sebastian and um, She's got a vlog on here. I'll just see if I can quickly find it. 
where are you where are you and it's a very 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 good vlog on oh there she is um i'll just tell you what it is oh come on where are you here, ah here it is it's called pause and ant abuse anyway it's p-a-w-s um really you should watch this it's very very good because there was one point in particular she made in here was that um when she gets cravings she for alcohol she drinks or eats drinks fluids or eats and that was very similar to me it's something i picked up very early on in the piece was when i craved alcohol you know i would crave beer I think oh god it was a hot day i just love a nice cold beer but if i went out and got myself a nice cold glass of water or just had a drink and quenched that thirst that craving went away so uh, that was an interesting point but it's that's very interesting i like that vlog she made so i'm going to leave that in the um in the um on the sidebar for so you can watch that and she's got very interesting vlogs as well okay that's all smile and have a nice day